Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to Live Right Tonight. I'm Kara. And I'm Michael. We appreciate y'all joining us this week for the weekly podcast. Uh, we're going to do things a little different this time. This week we generally have interviews, uh, people sharing their recovery stories. This week we're going to focus on our events, the upcoming events that we host at Live Right uh, Recovery Center. Uh, first and foremost, we are starting our new teen program Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, starting May 1st. Um, all of our information is on our website. We do have um, a handy dandy little QR code. You can find any one of our flyers, scan it, and it will take you to the registration for teen night. Um, it was originally every Friday, but we did implement it Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays starting May 1st. And I'm, I'm definitely excited about this event. Um, Absolutely. I, I, be at, you know, I host this event as well, facilitate this event. So it's really great. You know, I wish I had something like this when I was younger. Absolutely. So, you know, like I said, a lot of the undesired consequences that I experienced may have not happened had I had a support group like such as this to come to, you know, right. at and that we, pivotal age. We do offer uh, homework help, one-on-one -on -one tutoring. Um, anyone in the ages of 14 to 20 that would like to come out, just have some extra support, extra homework help, a mentor type feel, um, more than welcome to come and check us out. Come join us. Next okay, event we have is Friday, May 6th, is our game night from 6 to 8. It will be held here at the Recovery Center. Um, whoops, you can come out. We do, you know, things like card games, board games, yep. bingo, things uh, like that. I will be at that event and I will have my chess board for <laughs> any chess players. I will yeah, be the there to, player. you know, whoop your butt. So <laughs> come on out for that. Uh, we got dominoes, we got clue. We got a lot of fun games. So it's a, it's a really good event. And like I said, I will definitely be there. This week, uh, May 6th. Yeah. Okay. Our next event on the board is the Reptarium. We have, um, if you're familiar, they are located at Hall Road and Van Dyke. Um, they are coming to bring some live animals, snakes, reptiles, that kind of thing. Um, it is from 10 to 11, Saturday, May 14th, here at the Liberate Resource Center. Uh, you can also check our website. That is something you need to register in advance for, so make sure you pop on and come. It is a free event. Yeah, the kids definitely going to love that one, so that should be a fun one. Yep. Okay, a little bit different. We do have our annual rally at the Capitol for UFAM, which stands for Unite to Face Addiction for Michigan. Um, this is going to be held at the Capitol building. Uh, to raise awareness and, you know, talk about the stigma attached to addiction and trying to raise awareness on how to basically handle it. Um, but yeah, we will be there. It is um, Michigan Recovery Community Collective, so there will be not only us as a resource center, but other people in the recovery community as well. Um, so that should be a great event. That is Thursday, May 19th uh, from 9 to 5 in Lansing at the Capitol Building. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. This one? So, next up we have Legal Assistance Night. It is Wednesday, May 25th. It's attorneys. It's available. It's um, 6 to 8 p.m. It's here at the Live Right Recovery Center. Uh, we have four attorneys coming out. Um, it's a free event open to the community. Attorneys will be present to answer questions regarding criminal law, family law, license restoration, and expungements. So please come out. It's a lot of laws that's coming out um, that was passed this past year in regards to expungements. So, you know, this will be a really good event um, to come. Come join us. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Okay, next one we have on the board. Next one we have Live Rice Outdoor Movie Night. That is Friday, June 3rd, 9 p.m. Um, it is here at Live Right Recovery Center. I'm not sure what movie is going to be showing. Yeah, but we haven't come up with our movie yet, but it will be kid-friendly. Families are encouraged to come. 
It is a free event. However, we will accept donations at the time of entrance if you'd like to help us out. Um, you know, we are a nonprofit and we rely a lot on the community to help us provide resources for the community. So, okay. And spots is open 45 minutes before movie time starts. Okay. All right. Next up, we have Ferndale Pride. This is an event um, open to the community June 6th. The location is Nine and Woodward. Nine and Woodward. Yeah. So that's where we're meeting at. Yeah. Nine and Woodward. Um, it'll be June 6th in the Ferndale Pride, the L. LGBTQ community. Come join us. We'd like to show our support. Come um, on. We'll be there. Absolutely. And Live Right Center, we are all inclusive. <laughs> okay. All right, our next event we will be attending is okay. Motor City Pride. We have that. We will be walking in the parade June 12th, uh, 10 a.m. at Hart Plaza in Detroit. Um, another way for us to kind of tie into the LGBTQ community and anyone, you know, that struggles with addiction or knows people in addiction. It's just a way for us to kind of come together as one for the community. Absolutely. Look forward to that event. All right. Next up, we have Run Drugs Out of Town. This is a, a fan of uh, Families Against Narcotics event. It is June 18th, and it begins at 9 a.m. So um, go to our website for further information on this event. And registration, yeah. right? And I do believe you can also find it on Families Against Narcotics website as well. Oh, okay. Okay, great. So, so yeah, this is definitely going to be a great event. Yep. Okay. All right. Moving on down the list here. Okay, what and we got next up? The last event we have for the end of June is the Bay Rama Parade. Um, it is the Fish Fly Festival in New Baltimore. Um, we will be at the parade Sunday, June 26th, 1 p.m. Come and check us out. The event is the week of June 22nd through the 26th. At the end of the week, we'll be attending the parade. Okay, great. That awesome. sounds like it. That's definitely going to be an amazing event as well. So. Right. So we definitely have a lot of events coming up. Um, like I said, we are a nonprofit. We rely on the community um, to help us help you. So please come check us out. Join us for these free events. We hope to see you there. Absolutely. And like I said, this is, this, you know, our recovery efforts is for the whole community. You know, the opioid crisis that's claiming 100,000 lives, you know, each year, it affects us all, you know, so we all have to um, get involved and, you know, ending this crisis and killing this crisis. So, you know, we look forward to, you know, the community support and, you know, we love, I love these events because it brings further awareness to what we do here at Live Right and what, you know, what we want to do in the community to make our community healthy. So, thank you all. Come out and join us. Thanks, guys. Thanks.